danger doesn't lurk at every corner. It's just hanging out, waiting for fear and horror to show up. Hey everybody, welcome to Cred on Thursday night for Murder Hobo Inc. How's everybody doing? To be fair, I already asked hey. them this earlier and yeah. Okay. Oh, hey, applause. I like it. No one else can see that, but I feel special right now. <laughs> All right. Before we even get started with anything else, let me go through the spiel real quick because I always love doing that and I need to do it before I say something inappropriate like I did at uh, Tuesdays Between the Rolls. You can follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archives. I suggest, again, skipping at least the first 15 minutes of Between the Roll. That was really naughty, and I blame Ian and his cat. That's all I have to say on that situation. Was it another butthole situation there? Uh, more the other end. But anyway. Wow. Yeah, yeah. No, it was it was bad, but amazingly good after that. Uh, if you want to join us here, uh, talk about stuff on Discord, you can hit us up over there. If you actually want to show up, play in some of our games, uh, depending on what happens a couple weeks from now, but less that. More on Saturday, next Saturday, not this Saturday. That's Calamity Campaign. You can join us on a one-shot or, again, join us on the Between the Rolls. Those are always fun when we get new people on there. You can hit us up at mhoboinc on Twitter or, wait, mhoboinc at gmail.com. Am I getting confused with things? I might get getting confused with things. If you want to buy some awesome, cool swag, uh, you can do that over at a website in the link below. If you want to... Be entertained by our sweet, melodious voices. You can do that also at a link that will take you to the podcast version, audio only. Finally, we'd like to thank our sponsors, Oddfish Games, for their Adventure Sense. Uh, if your game stinks, get Adventure Sense. You can make it smell like a library or a fish tannery or sewers. I don't know what the difference is between a fish tannery and putrid sewers is. Honestly, they're probably about the same, and I don't even think a fish tannery is an actual thing. But I'm going to roll with it. So, fish tannery. Fish tannery? So it's, it's when you... So, so, okay, here you go. This is something you guys don't know. Pads for flutes, clarinets are made out of fish skin. So you tan fish skin... And I'm talking out of my ass, except for Apparently. the part that it's made from fish skin, because I know it is, or at least the old stuff is. And that's what a fish tannery is. Uh, also, pay attention to Odd Fish Games for the Shine Project. If you are writing a novel, you're writing a campaign, uh, it's not necessarily designed for a DD and d campaign. It's more designed for a novel, but it works in either scenario. It asks you the questions that you didn't think to ask yourself. And it's a great way to kind of get rid of some of that writer's block. Also, keep an eye out for how to RPG with your cat, along with some of their other cool, awesome products. And finally, if you need to roll well, can I tell you about Pirate Dog Dice? Uh, Ernie in particular, Pirate Dog Dice. <laughs> you hit them up on Twitter, ask them to make a personal set. Um, don't, I would suggest making a new Twitter name before you personally go and ask for a dog set so you don't get weighted die that roll ones all the time. <laughs> because other than that, you'll roll 20s all the time. It's a promise. Uh, that and Karu will make you dog poop dice. And as delightful as that sounds, I don't think it's going to be as awesome. There's not enough adventure sense to cover up that stink. Uh, finally, the biggest announcement of all time... Carol, do you want to make it? What? I, I don't have the announcements in front of me, so probably you don't have no. the biggest announcement of all. Would time. that be? Would that be the convention? We're the running? convention? We're running a convention? What, Carol? Tell us more about that. Well, I, well we're running a convention. Uh, it's a virtual game convention. Well, it's going to be held virtually, but it's going to be run on the Topia app, which will be the closest thing you'll get. To actually having an in-game person experience, from what I can see, because use your cameras and your microphones, and you actually interact with people on screen. It's really cool. But we will have games. Uh, we have all sorts of games already planned, and players sign. Are players sign ups live? 
Yes, they are. As of Tuesday. Sign up live. So you can go sign up for games. We've got a bunch of them on there. Uh, we also have, if you want to come and sell stuff, we have vendor spots. If you want to sponsor us. Uh, and it all goes to a great cause. We want to murder Hobo the Hell out of cancer. So all proceeds after the bills are paid go to the American Cancer Society. That's right. We're going to get a boomstick with the money that we get from this convention. Boomstick. It's stick. what? Says Sunday? The cannon stick. Sunday, August 1st, starting at what? High noon? Maybe a little bit earlier than Maybe that. Maybe a little bit earlier. Okay. I'm not too sure on the start time, folks. Sorry. But uh, you can find it at uh, there's a Murder Hobocon entry under tabletopgames.com. Uh, there we go. And that <laughs> is Carol. All right. We have done the spiel. We may begin on cred after we introduce a few people. We already introduced Carol, but we'll come back to her last I, so okay. she can introduce her character. We're going to go with uh, Ernie uh, because he's muted right now and I want to make him press buttons and any day now. Oh, now. Oh, got it. <laughs> Great handoff there, Kyle. Uh, so my name's Ernest, and I'm playing Riley, the uh, warlock. And uh, Riley has a little bit of a beef with uh, Nebby, the cook, uh, who previously mutineered on the ship. Um, so unfortunately, it's our job to uh, free the rest of the crew tonight, and uh, we'll see how that goes. We will indeed see how that goes. Brand, do you think it's going to go well, or are people going to go for a short walk off a long drop? Hello, I'm DJ. I'm <laughs> playing Brand, and eh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I might be persuasive. Probably not as good as Riley. Yeah, we'll see. Bribing always works, Brand. <laughs> always. always, definitely. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm not the type of DM who would have people try to murder you for attempting to bribe and impugn upon their honor. Right, this is Carol? a frontier town. Yeah, exactly. Be like, I'll give you this nice shiny penny. Oh, oh. I think that's about what we got. I mean, yes. I have a pearl, I think. <laughs> yeah, you do have a pearl. I have a pearl. <laughs> Uh, they can't find that anywhere off the island on the beaches or anything. All oh, right. I, I have it. It's on me. Oh, or... okay. Well, that uh, makes it easier. Totally should be able to. I mean, come on. It's a All right. island. Carol, go ahead and introduce yourself. All right. Hi, everyone. My name is Carol. I am a longtime camber, occasional GM, and a commissioned <laughs> mini painter who has now runs a mini painting stream where I dispense mini painting inspiration and instruction, as well as chat about gaming or whatever else you'd like to talk about. Uh, she harasses um, her uh, audience quite frankly. I, 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 you that. I only harass Kyle, so... Uh, but the, just drop them by. It's to the show is called the Painted Hero Tavern, uh, where I dispense inspiration and socialization. That's what I've been saying. Uh, you can find it on Muses underscore Touch, and I run streams on Saturdays at twelve thirty. Um, <laughs> let's see if I can be right. Mondays at seven and Wednesdays at eight thirty, all times PM Eastern. I think I finally did it right. <laughs> And oh, who am I playing? Who am I playing? Okay, so I finally got the bit done right. I am playing, I'm not playing Rose of the Raven. Rose of the Raven is still the character here. I can easily switch. I am playing Anja Jaeger, my half elven ranger. That is right. Uh, As you can tell, most uh, Twitch games have a fourth DD player. However, our fourth has gone missing. Uh, She was (gasps) going to uh, Rhode Island. Uh, to a place called Innsmouth to go to a wedding. <laughs> um, honestly, we haven't seen her for quite a while. So if you see uh, uh, some weird gal traipsing along the shoreline of Rhode Island, um, that's probably her. And you should let her know that we're looking for her. Uh, her parents aren't looking for her, just us. And honestly, only so she can... Uh, heal the party members from the terrible, awful things that are about to happen to them. Uh, I, I, I'd like to point out, I'm pretty sure Innsmouth is supposed to be Newburyport in Massachusetts. That's the town right 
next mm. to me, actually. Yeah, it's no, no, no. Right Carol to... literally lives right next to Smith. I do. I do. I live. I'm one town north of. Thanks for killing the bit, DJ. I had to because it leads fun. into the fact that Carol's literally right next to Insmith. Oh yeah, yeah. Sure. what's that yeah. say right there? I didn't grow up here though. So More fodder for look. you. I don't have the Insmith look though because I didn't grow up here. Hold on, look That's up real quick. Say. Yeah, no, I see it. Okay, <laughs> shut up. Remember, you don't grow up there. You just have to live there. Yeah, exactly. Here. Oh, I suppose I've been here long enough, huh? I've been here for twenty-four years. Twenty-four years. So yeah, I'd probably be long enough. I don't have gills. That we know. <laughs> mm. Well, just like we don't know of those, uh, you know, those dragon scales or whatever the hell you get going there that Brand's got rocking right now. Oh, He's about. got his hand wrapped up. We don't know <laughs> yeah. about that. We don't know. She is completely covered. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I guess All it's time right. to get this party started. You know, it's like a giant uh, uh, elithid or something underneath this. That would be. <laughs> All the tentacles just kind of go out to fill out the beak. That'd be wonderful. I, I did catch a glance of your face once, but I don't remember if I remember that part. Actually, <laughs> I'll have to check that out. <laughs> I don't really think I didn't think you caught. I thought didn't think you. Caught, I, I caught the lower half of his face. As oh, maybe that. that's right. Maybe that uh, that was about it. Um, <laughs> cool. So and that's what this look. campaign is all about. To be honest with you, trying to look at Pran's face. Oh, that's yeah, the whole thing. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. That's the goal, the unofficial goal. Mm -hmm. I think um I think we should uh go convince the people to let this the crew out. We also need to convince them to give us back the Wolcomite. That is true. Or are we stealing well. it? That's actually probably more important than the crew, actually. <laughs> Uh, no, they're, they're both, both, they're, they're both, both important. Equal, they're, both equal, they're both equally important. They need the crew to sail the ship and they need to fix the, sh to fix the ship itself. Guys, guys, this is your adventure. You decide what's important. I, uh, I don't care what happens at the end of it all. Qu um, question to the GM, by the way. Were we, answer. Did, did, I'm trying to remember. Did they want us to steal the Wolcomite or convince them through diplomacy to get it back? It depends. Does anyone have invisibility? <laughs> Not at this point. <laughs> <laughs> right. No. Ideally through diplomacy, same way you're getting the crew out. Uh, Riley asked an important question. Did you uh, inform everybody about the need for the crew, Anja? Uh, Kenza was the one who told you, Anja. Um, I yeah. was not there, neither was Bran, neither was Cleo. So it's up to you to inform basically, the rest of the party if you wish. Basically, I gotta run around. Ugh, take this off. Basically, I gotta now run around and find everybody. Oh, actually, oh, everybody, we, you we guys, took a nap. We took we took a sleep. Yeah, we got a, a long nap. rest. Aiden has already talked to Bran and has sent him towards the stockade while he watches over the uh, mutilated Jeremiah, who is Ugh. still passed out although it does no longer have a fever. Uh, and along the way, you have picked up... Eh, you don't know where Cleo is at the moment. She, she's she gone and done disappeared in this, so good luck, guys. It's just the three of you. Uh, so if you're happy with informing uh, Riley about what happened, I think you guys are all on the same page. Uh, and speaking of the same page, uh, last time we left off, it was in the evening... Uh, maybe just a little bit after supper time. Light's still in the day, but it's beginning to set. And we had you approaching the stockade, uh, preparing whatever arguments in your head before you leave off. And I just had this moment not too long ago that as you approach this building, we kind of zoom out on the players themselves and we see them standing in the shadow of this gallows and they're spaced apart enough that conveniently somehow they line up and it almost looks like the gallows are hanging them what well we can't see that you can't see that but this is for our audience at home a little bit of that uh tv foreshadowing you know 
uh, uh, terrible Foresh things to come. <laughs> Foreshadowing that Foresh we're all going to get hung. Great. That awesome. Oh, no, it's fine. Hey, you guys are in control of your own destiny. And with that statement, I will say you find yourself at the stockade. You approach. It's a large horseshoe um, building around the main entrance is at the center there. As you walk up the path uh, to your one side, your right, walking in, you see this typical garden, uh, some kind of jungle flowers, flora, um, and a bench to seat at. And on your right side, you see a stone garden with these strange whirls and patterns and symbols and they're both familiar and unfamiliar and and what would you like to do uh oh, i'm gonna i'm gonna wait i guess uh let's have head we, to the we have, i was gonna say uh, did we did we get an appointment for this place you did not i don't think there's appointments we're just gonna go stockings. all right let's just go then um, before we go in, I, I, I want to ask, um, Bran, did you have a chance to talk to, uh, Commander Corwell? I, I, I heard you're, uh, looking after him. No, I have not. Do, do you think, um, you might have some weight with, uh, maybe getting the crew out? It's possible. Um, you want we can go how long do we have until they're you doing kyle <laughs> nothing don't worry uh-huh <laughs> let's just find out when they are scheduled to be hung first okay good idea Warned. did we did we know that our i want to say it was morning isn't it it is not it is evening oh wait no i mean when they're going to be hung is like tomorrow morning right or tomorrow. do we not know you don't know okay I can't remember. All right. Let's go find out. First. Let's go find out. You open up the door uh, to the stockade, and inside, uh, behind a desk, you see uh, one of the island guard uh, holding a very drunk dwarf that both Riley and uh, Anja would recognize as Zeb, who was at the portico uh, getting sloshed the night before, and it appears that he has landed himself uh, into the uh, drunk tank here at the stockade. And you see Lieutenant Momoa is sitting behind a desk, head in her hands. Toa, just take Take him to his usual spot. And guard grabs them. Hey, I know you guys. How are you? Hey, don't need to show. As he is escorted off into his jail cell. Lieutenant Mama. What can I help you with? Uh, and, we're... <clears throat> if we could just and you her. look at her. She is absolutely exhausted. You could imagine that she has been here all day nonstop. It looks like what can we do for you? You look you look very tired. I have what been stuck here all day. I'm Unfortunately, I am currently <clears throat> the highest ranking member of the guard here in town. So let's not waste time. What can I do for you? Care to inquire about the rest of the crew? Uh, about when they're going to be hung. About, well, or maybe getting them free. You wish to free the mutineers? Yes, we need them. Or rather, our captain needs them. You are where they tried to kill you? Oh, have stolen from I'm you? very aware that they tried to kill me and stolen. Uh, by the way, uh, we would very much like that back. Our property. We hear you have you you uh, 
you, meaning Royal you, amongst the guards. <laughs> okay. Has it back? Not you personally. We need that back. We also need, we really need it. Well, the captain needs it more than we three do. But we wish the captain, the captain does not want to stay here. The captain, Captain Kenzie, more or less wants to turn in that property for the money we need to repair the ship, and take the crew and get off this rock and be a, no trouble to you any further. Here's the thing, if you are, oh, I gotta get that accent right. If you are <laughs> going to argue for your, for the crew's lives, at that point, you have to talk to the magistrate. He's been missing for a few days. Well, how could you have a trial with the crew if there's no magistrate? There is no trial if no one wants to let the mutineers live. Mutiny is a very dangerous thing on a ship, and especially on an island as well. But if you're going to argue for their case, the magistrate has to be here for it. When or at least scheduled? someone higher ranking than I. When are they scheduled to be hung? I don't know. Magistrate Alwiji went off on the island along with some men going through the supplies that had drifted ashore. He hasn't shown back, so Captain Lothar and Commander Corwell both went out searching for him. When they find him, they'll be back. I don't know how long it'll be. As for the Wilcomite from the priests, they were supposed to pick it up today. Unfortunately, they haven't showed up. Where is it? We wish to bring it to them ourselves. We're here to pick it up. It's been too long a day to be honest with you here i get that she literally opens up puts this bag in front of you <laughs> take it straight to the priest of gats and if you encounter i'm on the way just hand it to them just tell them that this is what they're looking for they don't have to travel to the stockade fair enough Oh, Go I don't up know. Mountain Road. Right. Up the side of the volcano. Oh, there's oh, a shrine. There? Assuming okay. they haven't come down for the Wilkemite, chances are they have been praying all day today. They get a little zealous every once in a while and tend to forget things like eating and collecting their things. Is there anything else I can do for you? Anybody? Nothing else? Is everyone in good health? You're free to go. I'll talk to them if you wish. Thank you. I will... But leave weapons here at the desk. I put down the knife I have. I will wait here. Oh, I also put down the... Uh... What they call the uh, darts I have. And okay. then we'll go over and see them. Toa and one of the guards comes over, takes you over to the holding cell, into one of the horseshoes, leads you through a door, closing it, and uh, lying about in various stages of uh, the moment um, you see the crew. Nebby is sitting in the back corner. She seems the most put together. The rest of them are yeah, 
Nebby? If you, Nebby. Nebby's in jail? Nebby's yeah. In jail. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. They took her away. That's right. They met us at the mm-hmm. gate and took her away. Oh, the half elves, uh, Banda and uh, Casa, are both pacing in their cells. Uh, the dwarf triplets are all. <laughs> I'll say your passive perception is good enough that you can tell they were looking at the lock on the door to see if there was some way to get out. And as you walk in, they're just instantly retreating and hands in their face, just trying to look natural. Not pulling it off very well. And you can see out their cell window, you can actually see the gallows in the distance so they've had they have a good idea about what's going to happen to them and Olo oh Master Bran you're here to get us out right first because we didn't mean anything are you okay are any of you hurt and I take a general look around the room I mean other than Nebby uh, who are you going in that direction, Riley? No. <clears throat> I'm staying no. at the front desk. You're staying at the front desk. All right. Uh, not quite 30 feet. It's a little bit farther than that. Darn. Um, <laughs> geez. Uh, uh, other than the injuries we sustained a few nights ago, we're, we're fine. We've been pressed here. We, it wasn't our fault. We, we didn't mean anyone to get hurt. It's okay. <clears throat> How do you They're going feel to let us know, right? We are working on that. Unfortunately, this place is very strict about its codes of conduct and its sense of loyalty. I but they do they realize that they do realize that things can be a little difficult here. I'm not sure if it's lucky or unlucky, but the magistrate is missing. That causes a legal problem means that what? you get no trial but it also means that there's no schedule for you to be hung oh thank god oh. I wouldn't relax too much this also means that you're at the whims of those in charge behave yourselves don't do anything foolish no, no. We I look at the triplets, especially. <laughs> They're the ones talking to you. So. Yeah, I just kind of one of the uh, ones uh, just kind of turns his head. Down. The less problems you give them, the more likely they are to wait. Roll a persuasion check for me. That's a ten. As a ten. No, uh, uh, Olo looks at you. After what you've done for my brothers on the ship, absolutely, we trust you. You'll get us out of here. We know it, right? Right, Panda, Casa. <laughs> at the news of there's not going to be a hanging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll wait. Waving queen, let her favor guide you. And unfortunately, if this but there was another outcome she will at least take your souls away from this place I cannot give you true solace for I do not know what will happen but she is also the goddess of fate pray and maybe her maybe your fates will be beneficial it's so creepy hearing brand That's... pray over someone like they're dead even though they're still alive <laughs> I love it <laughs> That's that 10 persuasion check. They were on board, and then you were like, by the way, you should pray that your death is sweet. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. I don't do moral support. <laughs> really this is why. This that's, is why. That's the best brand pep talk. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what we can do. We'll prepare for the worst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch over yourselves. Don't try anything. We don't want them to hang you yet. But if we're too late, 
<laughs> oh man, I love that. <laughs> Can we get to the point where we're like level 14 and we have to like command an army or something and Bran gives the pep talk? <laughs> like, you know, at the gates of Gondor or at the gates of. Uh, <laughs> oh, I like that. The um, gates of <laughs> Yeah, in fact, so most of you will die, <laughs> but your souls will go on to a better place. As Come long on. as you are not killed by the witch king, that'll suck away your soul. So make sure you don't die by him. <laughs> yeah, I'm just and don't worry if you're quad. and don't worry if you're just maimed or lose a limb. I'll help you with that. I can heal that. <laughs> it's your if soul. You're too far gone. I will give you the mercy and end your life myself. <laughs> Good oh. lord. Some right, of you may die, but that's a sacrifice I am willing to make. So what should he roll for that? Persuasion, intimidation. <laughs> <laughs> His choice. Yog Sothri, I don't I don't even know. <laughs> His choice. I would say that's his choice. Intimidation or persuasion. Yeah. Don't give buffs. Well, it's a diva. I mean, um, so they all look yeah. in good they, health, though. They look in good health. Um, they look like they've gotten sleep, which is more than you guys could really say, even for the fact that you did just finish a long rest. Um, they I don't know. I look in. fine. I look the same. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of mud smeared here, but I'm sure you cleaned that up from the jungle there. Uh, I will go check on Nebby. Uh, Nebby's in the same thing. Um, she's just kind of in the back corner. She's thank you for all you're doing for us, Brian. We really appreciate it. And if we're hung, I suppose we will do what it's we the can. We Raven's will do what we can. Fate. It is. We are new here. We do not know their ways too well. But there is possibilities. It seems that the magistrate's missing. If we can find him, that may swing in our favor. Maybe I shouldn't use the word swing. <laughs> I'm sure we'll swing the vote in your favor, guys. <sighs> yep, the Stay alive. Again, don't cause undue stress to the guards. Right, yeah. And they're all agreeing with you. And as you are leaving the cell, Olo grabs you by the ropes real quick. I don't care if I die. Just make sure my brothers get out of here. Please. It's not their fault. It's none of your faults. It's no one's fault. It's this island's fault. And with that, the guard leads you out. And you are back in the main room. And at this point, if you wish, you can take the Wilkemite from this building. Very well. Where, question, where was the uh, last place known whereabouts of the magistrate again? They went out to go look for the cargo. So somewhere on the beach, mm -hmm. basically. To be fair, this isn't all that strange. It happens more frequently than you'd think. And he had a bit of an entourage, it sounded like. Exactly. D did they give us an exact count of how many men or women were taken uh, in this entourage? They did not. Okay. Do you want to know that before we leave? No, it's already passed. <clears throat> okay. Well, why we haven't left. We them. should give the captain the welcome I to deliver. It'll show a better face than us delivering it. I agree. Okay, that's as fair. Plus, we, we should go on. find this magistrate as soon as possible. We can do that. All right. So then let's go back to the uh, Porter Call, I believe is the name of the inn. Uh, Call is the name of the inn. Actually, there is one thing. I remember it was something. in the barracks. Was there like a, a map of the area? In the barracks, was there you know, like pinned up on the wall or something like that? Ah, okay, okay. Uh, barracks and the stockade are two different ah, places. The barracks are where, well, I mean, yes, at the stockade. 
Oh, there is a map. I'll just take a quick That's look at it. The island guard. Yeah. Ta da! I'll send that to you guys. I later. mean, we're pretty sure where they probably went because it's probably towards our ship. Uh, not necessarily. Um, you may not have been the only ship to crash. Yeah. The issue that happens is, again, the night turns black. Um, and you learned this a while ago. Um, so this is just me reminding you. Um that the seas turn black to the point where even the goddess of light, a statue which helps sailors um, navigate around the island, because the side that is um, to the west is full of sharp reefs and is almost impassable, while the other side does have the deeper waters for the ships to go through. So when you would confer that when the lights go out, Lots of ships just tend to not know where they're going, crash, drift up on shore. So anywhere on the western-ish sides of the did, island could be Did the map ram. express how big the island is? Like a diameter? It did not. Okay. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. Do you even know? That's why I said it's a good question. <laughs> uh, you would say that it would probably take... You have topography, so you can see where the uh, island, the volcano, uh, Kaza, uh, in the center there. There's literal cliffs and rock faces, sharp points. Jungle is kind of sporadically placed around there between these points. The easiest way to go any place is along the beach. Yeah, it makes sense. But that instantly makes everything a lot more difficult to go through. Where's the... And you could find yourself kind of in a gully trap, necessarily, if you tried to go through the jungle and took the wrong direction. Where are we on that map? You are where the big red star is. I can't see. Oh, oh we are practically on the coast. Okay. Yeah. I do have notes written on this, so I don't want to get it too yeah, close to the screen. That's fair. <laughs> spoilers. No, yeah, yeah. Total spoilers. Let me see here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No. <clears throat> we'll get a better map later on for you. Well, guys. I would assume our ship is the most likely ship that they're going after. And what sure. time of day is it again? Morning? Evening. Or evening? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think we should uh, be on the beaches at night when the deep ones come out. But we, sh you know, we don't want to leave them out at night either. They've been out for multiple days already. Doesn't mean that one more night won't be the difference. I mean, I'd prefer not to be out there at night. I mean, you could compare your experience to being out on the beaches to your evening with the island guard out on the beaches. One of you did a heck of a lot better in the jungle and on the island than without. So there is uh, and honestly even Lieutenant Momoa would just tell you if you were intent on going to look after them just be like literally, just wait. They will be back any day. We're gonna well we could this would be outside or out of Parisha. I I agree that I don't think we should necessarily go right now but I do think we should go I don't think we should wait a couple of days we do have to get this back to holding the bag uh, we'll we do have to get this back to the priest and I do agree with you that uh, it should you know the captain should go along Very but well. maybe we should accompany her yes that's probably a wise idea yeah all right so let's go back so we'll go back to the protocol Go back to the protocol. There's uh, first mate Aiden and Captain Kenza. Well, mission half accomplished. We have the welcomeite. We do not have the crew. We need to find the magistrate. Where's the magistrate? Missing. 
you went back. He went. He brought an entourage or a, a expedition group and to look for cargo and uh, has not returned. Okay. So the good news is the hanging is postponed until the magistrate comes back. Oh, okay. Thank you for spelling that out, actually. <laughs> <laughs> or until their moods change. You think that's likely? No, I think no, that's... No, I do not. I think there has to be a magistrate. This town feels like that uh, they go by the rules. Um, yeah, we, we just talked to the highest rank guard in town, with <laughs> Kenny, uh, and she's the one who told us this. Yeah. It really so, depends. We don't notice the sinister citizen tree too much as she said an official high enough up would also have authority i do not know how many or who those might be so do you but want to now, go that is a problem we cannot deal with we can go to the priests though which are halfway up the volcano Would you be able to do that? Uh, I'm going to speak with the ship right here and figure out how much it's going to cost to get the folly over here and get it into. Well, Scorpio. we're actually a little worried uh, to go without you since the deal was with you. We remember what happened to the rest of the crew that came into the town without the captain. And we don't want a, a similar response if we show up to the priest of Fett without you. That's fair. Right here. And with that, she pulls into her um, into her robes and pulls out a letter uh, with the seal of Arul Katan on it, same signifying you are carrying the Wilkamite from the ship to that and that the contract is done. If you take this, you should... Awesome. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Very well. Um, do you happen to know how long you'll take to get up to the Priest of Fett um, because we obviously don't want to be outside of the, the walls after dark. So do you think we should uh, wait till morning? But, uh, yeah, how close I think do we should go now. They may see. actually be in town. Well, I, I was asking they were, headed, uh, they were headed this way was from what possibly. we were told. Let us head there and see if we can find them before it gets too late. If it gets oh. dark, then we can turn back. Give me Anja a D100 roll, please. Oh, we know how good these go for me, don't we? Yeah, right? Let's see. I'm actually using the dice that came from, like, my Cthulhu set. Oh, well, that's, yeah, that's not low. That's for sure. 87. <laughs> I know how low, <laughs> low, low is better. Low is better. It could have been worse if you were 86. That I would have done the worst thing imaginable to you guys uh, <laughs> uh as you're walking up mountain row that's the center of town uh to go up to the shrine of fet um you do not encounter the priests on the way there uh and give me an athletics or a constitution check let's, let's see how long it takes you to actually get up there Yes, Brian. Uh, I would like to, as we're walking, if we see That's like some role. random people, you know, just ask, have you seen an entourage of priests of that pass through here yet? Honestly, Kenzu is, uh, Kenzu and Kika are fairly uh, sell it this morning. I imagine they're still up on the mountain and will be there half the night. Thank you. All right, well, you that was... athletics or Ooh, from all constitution us? from all of you just to see how long okay. it actually takes you to climb up this volcano. Apparently, not long because that's a twenty-three. You're good, and but I'm also faster than them. All right, and uh, Riley, constitution you said, or uh, athletics, your choice. Oh, okay, constitution for sure. Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Yeah, Anja, these are a pair of stragglers, even if they are uh, a little bit faster than you. <laughs> you know, you're Not getting today, up there, Bran, not today. Breathing nice and easy. The mask is starting to get a little bit cloudy from just the hot air you're punching through. Um, 
you get up to the Shrine of Fet about when the sun is going down. Um, but you notice that the Goddess of Light statue does shine a, a blue oh, green light that does illuminate the path. And it's this is bare rock. There's not vegetation growing. The path going up is taken care of if steep. Uh, so it's not that difficult of a climb and you manage to get out there. And you see two stat or sorry, two priests, uh, a man and a woman um, flank what is the shrine of Fet. Um, the shrine is this um, incredibly accurate replica of the mountain uh, that you literally walked up. And in fact, you can even see the trail kind of perfectly carved. Uh, in this greenish stone e and even the shrine itself built in miniature. Um, and underneath this shrine, uh, this shrine is underneath a three walled with a nice thatch roof. And um, the two priests are bowing to the statue. Oh, great fat, tell us, tell us what's coming. Ah, and they start chanting words and waving their arms. They're dressed in these mountain brown robes. <laughs> um, oh, dang it, Riley. You're, you're terrible to have in the comments. The oh, absolute sorry. Worst. Distraction. <laughs> What's he writing? I'm not even uh, no. uh, Essentially, uh, you look around and Riley is no longer there. Uh, you see him robbing the giant orb from the goddess of light and taking the Wilkemite and cackling and twirling his mustache as he makes his getaway. What? <laughs> no, uh, Riley is there. No, I'm just, I'm just taking notes on my little tablet. Don't worry. Is, are you sure his name's not Lupin? <laughs> Uh, but you get up there, the two priests are uh, worshipping at this um, replica of the Volcano Casa. Volcano Casa? The name of the volcano is Casa. Like K -A -Z -A. Casa Doom. Z-A. Calm yeah. down. Calm down. <laughs> yeah. um... Don't make connections. Shut <laughs> up. No, no. What was that again? K-A-Z-A? -K yeah. Just Casa? Mm -hmm. I right. would like to I'd like to find a, an appropriate moment to interrupt them uh, if necessary I'd like to roll a religion if, if I need to or if it's just a simple you know I want to be able to not interrupt them in the middle of their prayer because that could upset them yeah Yeah, this is an entirely different way of praying than you would see at the Raven Queen. So do give me that. You can make it a wisdom religion, if you wish, or an insight check. Insight. Just to give you the benefit of the doubt. 15. 15, yeah. Uh, it is certainly a lot more... <laughs> It's a lot more lively than worshiping the Raven Queen. And, but you kind of sense the growing tambra of the chanting, the crescendo is getting louder and louder. <coughs> uh, Greg, tell us what's beef. And there's silence, and they're staring at this replica. And all of a sudden, the replica starts growing this dark green. And you see smoke rising up from the top of this and start falling down almost like a, like a miniature avalanche of this dark black, almost... I can't think of a better way. Dark black smoke 
like an avalanche of snow rushing down the side of the mountain. Ooh, excuse me. I've and seen the science experiment. So it's dark black smoke? Dark black smoke. Like the science experiment, just about. Not liquid D, though. It's icy. Foamy. More foam, yeah, than liquid. Like and pyroclastically. <laughs> like a... just uh, details within it. And uh, the male priest looks at the female priest. Oh, this is great news for the farmers. The Kaza is going to bless us with more acidic ash to fertilize the fields. The people will rejoice. They will fall in love with us. <laughs> That's of course, brother. And oh, um, are you here to hear the joyous word of Fet? Actually, uh, yeah. Pl please tell me about Fet. That sounds interesting. <laughs> We are happy to have such an overzealous... Let us tell you, Fet is our god here. He lives in the volcano Kaza, and he brings life and warmth and protects us all through his loving and warm embrace. If it wasn't for this volcanic ash, as you see, as the god has foreseen for us, we wouldn't be able to live here without any of that. He guides and keeps us warm in the night, it's a beacon and a hope to us all. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, where can I learn more? Do you have any books or literature that I may have? Uh, while this is our main shrine, um, unfortunately, we don't keep literature here. But uh, if you wish to make an offering to Fett, uh, uh, we would be pleased to have you do so. And in fact... There is a solid Wilkemite bowl sitting in front of the icon where there are trinkets, uh, bits of food, flowers, just any sort of odd offering. It will greatly please Fett, and he will allow us the gift of life to gain over and over every year. Um, fuck it, why not? I drop in the pearl in the bowl. Ong! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he will be most <sighs> they're wiping tears from their eyes sir what is your name this is i am i am kenzu this is my sister siku you sir what is your name uh my name is riley uh i'm actually here on uh captain kenzu's behalf to to give you the welcomeite we we have it To finish her contract, and I give him the <laughs> the, the sealed letter. What, what oh, was fine. what was their names again? Kenzu, Kenzu, and Sika. And I have noticed that a lot of these names rhyme with each other. This is C U N S U. C U N or C U. C sorry, C E N S U. Yeah. And C I K K A. Whoa, wait, that's C I K. That's wow, that is not what I expected. Kenzu with a K and Sika. Okay. Kenzu well, and Sika. Brother and sister. Not necessarily. Brothers and sister in faith. In faith. Would okay. Probably okay. insight. Okay. So he hands the letter. I've got, I think I have the bag. That's right. We forgot Lieutenant Momoa had sent a guard that we were supposed to come down, but we knew there would be glorious news today. Glorious, glorious news, Riley, as you have seen. Ah, we have forgotten. Uh, we do have uh, Captain Kenza's payment here, though. Um, may we see the Wilkemite? Uh, I take it out and I sh open the bag and show them. Let me see the payment. Very shrewd, as it is important in any business deal. Of course, here you go. And with that, they hand you a large bag. 
Yes, Bran. While this is going on, I would like to uh, visually examine them. Uh, their posture, their physique, their see if there's any sign, any odd signs that would be a little different, any uh, signs of exposure, uh, being this close to the volcano so often, any more, less natural signs too, like, you know, know, any green scales or anything weird like Uh, that. uh, (laughs) Like me? Yeah, you know, standing like, right in front of them, like you know, maybe they have the wild eye, crazy twitch thing. You know, anything that might stick out. Bulbous eyes, you know, web fingers. The you thing. can, if you're looking for a more psychological standpoint on these people, you can give me an insight check. If you want to check for scales or physical, I will need a investigation. Uh, and depending on how long you stay here, I'll probably need an investigation from someone else. I'll go with the insight for the psychological. Okay. I can already tell they're... Jeez. Oh, uh, it's only an 11. That's only... Above a, yeah, I haven't rolled above a 10. These are some very firm believers in their faith and... Uh, everything about them they live they breathe uh as almost as much as some of the monks and priests you have seen at the raven queen's uh monastery do they look like they are spellcasters they are priests so you might i mean you're not but Mm -hmm. do they have spell components do they have a focus that looks like it would be for spells things like that you see a green wilkemite medallion in the shape of a volcano matches what they have on their robes matches what they might have on their brown hats Uh, siku actually has this tall mountaineering hat that also has a volcano on it this wilkemite is yeah, properties that enhance magic, right? Uh, it has a connection to a plane outside of this world, and it can help strengthen those connections. I keep thinking I want to make an insight check, but I don't think I have enough to go on that they're collecting all this for some purpose. Well, you can ask them. And they will tell you that uh, the blessed Wilkemite, this stone was blown from the volcano, from the inside of the volcano, spread across the earth. And it is our job and our duty to our god Fet and Kaza that we return what was once belonged to to them. And we will always pay handsomely for it, um, as agreed, a thousand gold pieces. Can I make an insight check on that one? Which part? Uh, just the whole thing, whether or not it's just that's what they, that they're stating their beliefs or maybe there's something more to this. Because if this thing's go like a connection to another plane, you cannot, you know. <laughs> you already, t- we already went over this, Brad. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So I guess that are Scientologists. What I what I'm sort of inferring is if it's connected to another plane, maybe there's a being on that other plane they're trying to contact or something else. Sure. Um, I just want to see if there's anything more to what they. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Shit, that's only six. They're trying <laughs> to make a Stargate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, the priests absolutely believe everything with their heart and soul that they yep. have told to you. Yep, totally. Mm-hmm. Um, Riley, you want to give it an old college try for the fun of it? What? To, I, I don't understand what's going on. Um, <laughs> so here, here's the thing. I totally took note of uh, where that smoke was on the little replica mm-hmm. and uh, scribbled that stuff and with a little drawing on my little stone tablet for mm-hmm. later reference. Uh is the city of Farzeen, perchance, where that smoke came out of the little replica? 
or was it kind of like in a more wilderness area like where I'm not at? It looks like the smoke is going to come into the city as well as the outside. It takes up a portion. So if you were to, again, we'll pull up the map here real quick. This is where you landed, crossed the jungle to get to Farzine. Up the mountain you went. This little peninsula here and a good chunk of Farzine looks like that is probably the direction that the ash is going to come down. Okay, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. um, so I talked to the priests, mm -hmm. and I asked them. Uh, so how how is uh, how is the god <coughs> fat going to reward you after you bring back all the welcomeite? What's supposed to happen? We keep fat happy, and he allows us to flourish and live on this island of happiness. He protects us. He keeps the volcano dormant. But oh. releases the soot, the ash, which is used to grow the crops here. So, so mightily, so strong. The the drink kava, uh, and the and the berries, the guarana, all of these subsist because the volcanic ash blends and it feeds the earth. And through Fet's feeding of the earth and keeping the lava back, we are allowed to grow and flourish. So um, this is good news. Yeah, the soot I, I, that you see coming down here, it will be taken and it will be sown into the fields for a better harvest. I totally get that. I can see this is a very lush and beautiful forest around this volcano or about around this mountain. Um, just wondering, though, uh, what would happen to the people in the city of Farzin? When the god provides the ash and the soot, what will happen to them? And look to each other just like. Are you familiar with volcanoes? Uh, somewhat. I've read about them, but obviously, you two are the experts. I would. I'd love to hear it from you. Sure. Sure. No, we just wanted to make sure. Have you ever seen um? Snow, snow, snow. Yes. We are told that the ash comes down like like snow, and it just covers the ground, layers it gently. It gets a little bit warmer, but it's no worse. You just have to wear a mask over your face for a few days. So you were told about this. You've never experienced it before, or no? We have lived on the island all our lives. We have served the great god Fett for all of our lives. He's I think, they, nurtured mean, I think us. they mean they haven't seen snow. Ah. Yes, correct. I thought, I, when you said that, I thought this is the first time you've seen the ash fall before. I'm like, ah. No, no, um, no. Thank you for clarifying, Brian. With their description, mm -hmm. given that they're talking about it makes um, the crops grow. Now, I understand, obviously, the ash can have extra nutrients, potentially. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, have I ever heard of anything similar happening in any other places with volcanic areas where uh, ash helps grow vegetation? Roll a history check. There's not actually too many volcanoes yeah, no. in the area. I, really, I got a three. Nope. They seem uh, sure of it and the jungle that has grown around the uh, island seems proof enough to you. Um, how often does the ash come from the volcanoes? Or is, that... or is it perchance speeding up in how often it spits out ash? It is all dependent upon the offerings that we give to Fett. If we give him enough offerings, he will bless us with offerings in return. The last one was about five years ago. Uh, a gentleman came and uh, uh, such a large amount of gold. In fact, some of the gold in this pouch here came from it. Was his name Mundo Fett? Or Mundo oh. Fen? Yes. Mundo Fen? All right. That's good to know. Thank right. you. We, we they don't actually that. know, but you can be like, I think we can put you two and two. Look together. at the gold, and it's like, ah, shit, that's a Rosante. Oh, Rosante, right got it, yeah. Motherfucker. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, what webs we weave. So many notes here. So much to learn. So. Um, but is the gold enough? May we have the Wilcomite now? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I meant to, I would have handed it to them already. As soon as they handed me the gold and I opened it up and saw it was in there, I would have just handed them the, the bag. I, the only other question I have is, to them um, after. would I know if there's going to be any odd side effects to the ash falling on the town to the health of the people? I mean, with that three kind of rolls over with your knowledge of volcanic activity, um, okay. if you ask them about it, they just tell you, you know, it gets warmer. As they told Riley, put a mask over your face, um, cool, wet cloth. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Luckily, Bran, you are safe from this volcanic ash. You don't have to worry about anything. Safe from a lot of things. <laughs> uh, except the disease that's inside your body transforming you into a monster. Anyway, uh, anything else you'd like to ask these priests? We are, with this gift, we, we're going to pray some more. Um, if you wish to pray with us, you may, and, and we'll walk down the volcano with you, or you have offered so much, Riley, already, and, and you, Bran, and although we don't actually know your name, Bran, or your oh, name, Anja. It's Anja. I'll say it's Anja. And this is Bran. Um, I have I another actually, question. Oh, Go sorry. ahead, Go ahead Riley. You first. Yeah, I just wanted to ask... Um, so I was just wondering, I, I noticed that there's also the, the Priestess of Light down there. Uh, what, what's your opinion of them? They claim that they protect the island as well, but light cannot stop lava from pouring over the town. Light did not give life to this island. They are false worshippers, but we hope that we will convince the people that it is that it is Kaza, that it is Fet, who is giving them all that is good on this earth. Can can you argue that the volcano and lava also generates light? So maybe their religion is just a branch of this one. No, 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 no. Yes, but no. Obviously, they are. They're fools. Wait, wait, what? You are worshiping why? the wrong deity. Why? Why can't they both exist? Well, <laughs> well, they can exist, but the people are worshiping the wrong, the wrong being who blesses why? them on this island. Why is it wrong? I mean, why? I, I actually look at Andre and say it's because they believe that the that Fet protects the island, and they yeah. believe that the. Other goddess is not really protecting the island, and people are putting their faith in the wrong one. The goddess of light helps the sailors out at sea, but it does not help the people here on the island. I, I'm looking what like at the that? fact that darkness is falling and this light is shining out and going to help us down the mountain. I'm kind of thinking, I beg to differ, but I don't say that. <laughs> Yeah, don't um, say that. How dare you blasphemy? Yeah. And they shove you down the mountain. So since we're high up, I'm yes. assuming we're pretty high up in eleva elevation yep. right now. Mm -hmm. I would actually like to take a scan of the island from what I can see and see if there are any lights out along the beach. Ooh, this is a high perception check. You're looking for the magistrate. Can I? I'm looking to see if there's a fire, uh, like fire or anything. Since it uh, is dark out, I'm hoping that we might, I might be able to spot a light do you, that do will you, stick out in the darkness. Do you mention that to me? Cause I will help. I don't really. <laughs> I just kind of turn and start You're looking. On your I, 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 sorry. I'm just saying. So you, you want me to roll perception? Could have had his advantage. Give me a perception check. I would help too. 18. 18 is great. Unfortunately, there are a lot of trees 
and a lot of ridges to this volcano and what pits bits and pieces of the beach you can see you do not see any light mm. then i will say i was hoping that we might be able to spot something out in the distance Uh, like what? I'll, I will find. I will scan around. Although, let's see. What is my perception? I kind of look up and I look at the priest like, is there a higher point to this volcano that is safe? There are many trails that go around the volcano, but none higher yeah. than this point. This is where we are closest to Fett. But uh, Fett does still have wrath like any other god. and You do not dare incur it. Nah, I did not roll as high, so I rolled like a 14. <coughs> Sorry. You know, that light from the statue is just yeah, interfering. getting into your eyes. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Plus, it's getting, oh, that's true. Campfires should, should show up pretty well, but yeah, not if there's terrain in the way mm-hmm. and trees. Anja is very tired, yawning. You know, yeah. It's getting late in the evening, yeah. guys. What would you like to do? Actually, we slept all day. We so should probably we head did. back. <laughs> yeah, we should probably head back. We're going to have sleep it again because we want to reset our clocks back to daytime. <laughs> I should check in on my patient anyways. All right, sure. so let's just go. And I'll bid the priest a good evening. Good evening and be careful down the mountain. And we will. No, good. Yeah. And bless you again, Riley. Bless you so much for your offering. Anytime. Have a great evening. High five. <laughs> <laughs> and you feel the blessing of Fett go through you. And feel free to add a D4 to any role that you have. Say, and then your other patron gets upset that you're that you're cheating on him. No, no, no. I'm learning. <laughs> this is this is totally in line with what my patron wants. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You head down the mountain. Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, if you head back to the portacol, um, you will find Captain Kenza again. I head off to the cauldron. Straight to the Cafferty Cauldron. All right. Uh, did the deals with the priest go well? Yeah, here's your money. And hand her the money. This is great news. Um, and she reaches in and she hands 50 gold to you, Riley. 50 gold to you, Anja. Yep. Uh, Here, you go ahead and take Cleo and Bran's part as well. Um, The rest of this, unfortunately, is going to go to fix the ship. How much is it to stay here, by the way, now that I have some money? Now that you have money... Yes, uh, I can get a room. Give me a D100. Roll it was first. six silver pieces a night at the at least that's how much they told me last night that is what it was hey there we go that's low that's a uh, i think that's low 26 26 yep. riley you also give me a d100 roll please yay because i don't think you reserved the room for too many nights uh i paid for one night in advance okay you're good uh yeah and or not in advance. I paid for... Wait, when was that? We got here because we went through the night to get to the town. We got here this morning. I paid for it in the you morning. I slept You're good. through the day. Yeah. Don't worry about it. You're good. That's okay. right. Um, six silver pieces uh, for a room. Uh, Zeb was going to stay here a night, but having been taken by the guard and thrown into the drunk tank, you are free to use his room for the price of 10 silver pieces or one gold piece. Zeb likes to 
take the double rooms for some odd reason. Oh. Despite uh, the fact that he's a dwarf and short, he likes that double bed. Yeah, sure. I will spend a gold. Might as well celebrate that I actually have some money. I'm burning You're a hole in my pocket. Yeah, I mean, Captain Kenza made absolutely no money and <laughs> she looks like it. It's just like, well, I suppose the crew get to be paid with their lives. Good first trip. Good first trip, yeah. I won't be bankrupt at all. It's gonna really take all of the rest of the money? The thousand this is one of those team percent. bonding things. Well, Captain Kenza, the rule here is you get to keep whatever you find on the beaches, so maybe we could gather a little bit more loot before we leave to make this a little bit more profitable. We could. We are potentially going to go out there to look for the magistrate. We can use that time to also uh, try and help the ship out financially. Maybe, yeah. If you if you want to help, that would be greatly appreciated. I I just can't wait to get off this island personally. I agree, but I, I just want to let you know that there's still hope. We we can still make a profit from this. Yeah, go ahead and make a persuasion. I'm check. just trying to cheer her up. And then if you roll really low, do it in a way that Bran... Uh, I rolled a 19. That's not the way Bran would do it. Yeah, that is not the way Bran would do it. There's still hope, Captain Kenzo. You know, it's the sea that really... That saved me. Maybe it'll do so again. Thank you, Riley. And she pats you on the shoulder and she goes up to her room. And we head over to Bran. You go to leave the gates into the Crafty Cauldron. And your patient, roll a medicine check if you're going in to check on him first thing. 13. 13. Yeah, the fever is gone. The blood loss. He's gained a little bit more color back into his skin. Still not responsive in any way, shape, or form. Uh, the wounds on his leg... Uh, even despite this herb, and you've never actually seen it in action, but his his legs are starting to shrivel up a little bit, kind of wasting away a little bit. Very similar to what I've seen before. You've seen the end result of it. Uh, that could potentially be a step along the way, what's happening to him right now. Does it now. look like dehydration or something else? Uh, with a 13, you can't really tell. I will focus on hydrating him. Mm -hmm. um, change his cloth, supply new solvents. Uh, probably take a sample of the affected, afflicted area around the legs. Mm -hmm. See what I can find. Sure. Yeah, you go, you remove a sample of his flesh and he does not move in any way, shape or form. Oh my gosh, <laughs> dang it, Riley. What did you just put up there? The, the shrunken head dude from Beetlejuice. <laughs> That's what I imagined. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think the bone shrivel. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep. Mm hmm. Does he seem to be resting peacefully or otherwise? Uh, as far as you can tell, it appears to be peaceful. 
Uh, I will wake him to feed him, hydrate him, get some nutrients in him. He does not wake. No, that's not good. How is his heart rate? Normal. With the 13, other than what's going on with down by his legs, uh, he appears to be fine. Breathing normally, heartbeat is normal. He is just out. And if you want to infer a coma, that might be the case that's going on here. Okay. What's going through? I've got to ask this now because I'm curious and I'm sure someone's curious. What is going through Bran's mind? You are a way of mercy monk. Here is young, strong Jeremiah. Absolutely. Bran, you wanted this opportunity. (laughs) Torn from uh, uh, torn from the strength of youth with, you know, having his calf muscles ripped off, losing an arm. What is going through Bran's mind as you kind of check him out and see that he's not actually waking up? At this stage, Bran still holds to hope. We have not, Bran has not exhausted everything, and he is still, for the most part, healthy. Okay. People can live with disabilities. Sometimes it is a hard road to go past. If things seem to be inevitable, more other measures of other teachings of the Raven Queen may be necessary. And as you are taking care of him, (laughs) you hear a knock on the door. Urgent. I will uh, cover him up and then head to the door. I will first, before opening it, say, who is it? Uh, my My name's Branton. I'm with the guard. All right, I opened up a peak first. You open up a peak and you see Branton with a guard and he is holding a, another guard. This is the Rulkatan guard. Um, uh, we'll call them the city guard from now on as opposed to the island guard just to separate the two. He is holding another young man uh, from the city guard and it is he has an arrow in the knee. Oh God! Your adventuring career. Uh, right I will bring there. him in and we... see if I can save his adventuring career. <laughs> you bring him in. What the hell are you? Doing? We we were told that the the doctor was back open again, and and we had we had a bit of an accident with the crossbow. <laughs> um. Okay. So so sorry, and he brings him in. Uh, you find a fair place, and uh, I will. Tend to his knee, removing the arrow uh, without damaging it further. Uh, does it seem like it missed his kneecap, or is his kneecap like shattered? It looks like it missed his kneecap. Okay. But give me a medicine roll. Mm-hmm. Gonna have to lose the leg. <laughs> yeah, gosh, let me get the D hundred out here so I can start making these fun rolls. Seventeen. Seventeen. All right. Uh, you end up taking good care of the crossbow bolt to the knee and um, they will uh, give you 10 gold and they're going to try and you know get out the door and this was an accident and I need to get him back to the, the garrison. I will actually use a hand of healing on him. Alright. Uh, roll what that would be. 
Now we're going to add this to your roll. Let's see, I'm going to roll again. Where's my abilities? And healing E4 plus four. So that would be seven. That would be seven. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, uh, he's not even limping at the point. I mean, there's a little bit of blood on the armor, um, but they cleaned that up. And thank you so much. We really appreciate it. This this is all we've earned. Uh, uh, all that we have saved up that we've earned, but please take it. Thank you so much. No need. Keep your money. Just learn your lesson. <laughs> Thank you. Raven's Queen's blessing. Thank you so much. And they leave into the night. And later on that night, you have more knocks at the door, and this becomes starting a common theme as it seems like the city has saved up all its sick and injured people and now that there is a doctor in town there oh no starting to flood your business you're going to be rich give me another medicine check if you want to add any extra stuff to it feel free to do that cuz we're going to see if you're going to actually get any rest tonight or if mm -hmm. helping these people, or you can just absolutely turn them away if you want to. Just lock the uh, door. Tell them to come back in the morning. I will use a hand of healing to add to that. Mm -hmm. I will say you're also in the crafty cauldron, so we're going to lower the DC a little bit on that. Well, I'll give you an addition to whatever you roll. So that'll be 14. Oh. we are like really low. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. really low on everything. <laughs> uh, and this is why Riley hasn't really rolled anything tonight. <laughs> he knows what's going to happen. Um, go ahead. Yeah, I, I only rolled that one roll, the persuasion roll. That's all that yeah. mattered. <laughs> yeah. You are not going to get sleep tonight unless you start turning people away. Uh, but it seems very quickly that a reputation is starting to grow. I now can't that you turn them away. Town. I can't. All right. Give Shit. me a will saving throw and a constitution saving throw. Nat 20 on the wisdom saving throw for 24. About freaking time. There you go. And the constitution is shit. Six. Yes. Six. <laughs> Damn it. There is a. Hmm, you are working night overnight. There are some black toes where people have stubbed it. Oh. And instead of, you know, paying the exorbitant prices to, say, have a cleric look at them. Uh, they just rather sat on it. So there's a stink and a funk going on with some of them. There's a couple common colds. Uh, some come for dentistry. Oh, they, why are they all coming in the middle of the night? They waited this long. Why don't they come in the morning? Jesus. Because this is a doctor that does stuff for free. This is a doctor that does stuff for free. Um, and working through the night. Are you taking payment after the guards? Or are you turning down? Bran. Tonight I'm turning down. Tonight you're turning down. Wow. I am All giving, right, I am giving the blessing of the Raven Queen upon these people. He's going to forget about forget about the lady, you know, light and fat. He's going to turn everybody on to the Raven Queen. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's going to make 
friends of both of those temples. This fosters goodwill to the community. Oh, he's going to turn the whole whole island. island. Yeah, I bet Kenza's going to wish you accepted that money, though. (laughs) (laughs) He wouldn't give it to Kenza. Oh. He earned it for himself. I mean, I mean Brand's the type of person to probably give it away. I will let people know yeah. that no. I, I am gifting uh, to the Raven Queen, but future future visits may require a monetary uh, payment. They should. Oh, of course, of course. Everyone gets one. Everyone gets one. <laughs> Oh, you're that. Oh, so you're a dealer. You tell the- I get it now. You're a dealer. <laughs> oh my god! First healing is free. After that, I'm are you gonna tell Jeremiah that when he wakes up? <laughs> <laughs> and that he's missing an arm, and his leg is probably gone too. <laughs> Don't worry. That the first one's free. <laughs> The legs are what's going to cost you. Uh, yeah, it cost you an arm, arm and a leg, right? No, God. <laughs> but it's true. That's what it did cost him. You know, the sad part is if there's an artificer around, we can deal with this still. Oh, a paladin with a... Oh, this is great. No, no, no. I'm thinking of the uh, prosthetics. Yeah, I know. That's I was just thinking... Saying, yeah. I was thinking of like um, Edward Elric, you know? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh my god, yeah, because he's oh, uh, side note, his apparently the arm, artist for Full Metal Alchemist is starting a new manga soon. Nice. Ooh. But yeah, it's the wrong arm anyways. He, I think he's missing his left arm. Okay. And I think anyways, missing his right. so uh, I guess I get no rest tonight. Awesome. Get Good no well, rest tonight. You can tell them all to fuck off until morning and then get the rest. He already shook it off. Uh, your arm is pain as you are continuously working and if you take the time to look you see that the scales are hardening the little dorsal fins are growing a little bit longer but it seems to be taking up a little less space on your arm as the scars from the raven from that dream that seemed to be holding back this change in you are glowing, not glowing brightly, but there's just this radiant cold energy emanating from them and you might take it as a sign of goodwill for the offerings you do in the name of the raven queen with faith comes its own reward And you can go ahead and remove that one dread that you have had on your person for that natural 20 and for doing all that saying in the name of the Raven Queen, even if you are going to Heisenberg it all uh, on the people later. (laughs) Uh, The other two of you, um, you are able to get to sleep if that is what you choose to do. I mean, I can't think of anything else I, I could do in town right now. Mm-hmm. Brothel. What'd you say? Brothel. Brothel. <laughs> no. Drinking contests. All right, I could hit a bar. I mean, I've got money now. Sure. We're going to move into a little bit of downtime activity. You're not getting away from these patients, Bran. Well, I apologize. There's, there's, like the, there's magistrate the magistrate and such. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. We're downtime? Aren't we getting up in the morning going after the magistrate? Well, we slept all day. You have no idea where he is? 
We're... You have no leads unless yeah. you go looking for them through downtime. Oh, all right. And that's kind of the issue that we're approaching. Uh, Bran, you are finding patients are flocking to your door. Not in great droves as much as the previous night, but it looks like these are the ones who could have, you know, waited till morning to have you treat them. Uh, and they kind of come in one or two every once in a while. You can find time to break free. Um, I will try to see if there's anyone that will be willing to assist. Like it a little, it's just, you know, go fetch this, you know, organize this, things like that. How are you finding this person? Are you just asking? Uh, Amongst the people that come in, uh, whether they be the patient or anybody with them, I will first assess their level-headedness, see if they're Mm -hmm. wise enough. And then if so, then possibly give a request. And offer, you know, a moderate payment if possible, if not teaching. Sure. Um, You. Oh, my gosh, that is wow. (laughs) It's a lot of pleasure rolling this D100, but man, it lands hard. (laughs) Believe it. Oh, if you didn't hear it, then man. Oh, 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 we heard it. Oh, okay. It went clang. Uh, yeah, I need to get a steel plate under this table so I don't dent it. Uh, <laughs> uh, at one point, uh, Christopher uh, Thuma and his grandson Marju come in. Uh, it appears that uh, uh, Christopher is uh, Marju's grandfather, <coughs> earned himself while cooking, and has you take a look at it. And um, maybe in a little bit of a cheap fashion, uh, um, but Marju looks like he would be a good candidate for Gopher. And to thank you for uh, taking a look at the burn on his arm, uh, uh, he offers to take the time to work with you and run and get your errands and things. And... Yeah, okay. Seems able-handed at it. <coughs> It'll help to organize and deal with supplies issues when it happens. Sure. Or at least even tell people that I may need a moment. Uh, I'm assuming I will have to take some time to recharge my Kai or Chi mm-hmm. uh, between, uh, certain, between some patients, which takes at least an hour. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you will have the time to do that. Uh, I'm going to go over to Anja. You know, it, as far as going and trying to find the magistrate, you don't find any leads. Bran appears to be getting busy with customers looking for help. Patients, not customers, patients. I mean, the Man, thing it does it. sound like Heisenberg if you say customers. I mean, the thing of it is, I would have wanted to take these guys and go to the beach and search the beach, you know, for the for signs of using uh, tracking to try to find signs of a struggle or a camp or something that indicates where he went. Yeah, I'll go with you in but, the morning. But, I mean, if we're going to do downtime, then I have a total different thing I need to do for downtime. I brought... A, um, I brought some plans. Like, I believe oh, crap, I'd have to go back and look at my backstory. You remember what I'm talking about? I brought some plans. I want to find the blacksmith to give them, deliver them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can ask to make an, I believe it's to make a new alloy. But I also, at the same vein, also have a point of dread I need to get rid of. That is true. What's more important? Probably, uh, probably, probably getting rid of the point of dread. Truth be told. Okay. So I can only do one, not the other, huh? 
Yeah. I'll do the point of dread. I Go think I can dread. squeeze the trip in. Mm -hmm. And this dread you earned through a nightmare. Oh, yes. Yep, 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 yep. It and was the double nightmare. We had the two. Yeah, this has been plaguing you. It's been kind of hard to get to sleep. Oh, how are you getting rid of it? Uh, I was going to say, you know, finding the magistrate actually, you know, seizing some sense of control would have been nice. Um, but probably you can just, easily blend two things into one if that's what I you mean, say. yeah, I mean, it would make sense that by fulfilling basic, duties, yeah, gives you a sense of control. You go find the blacksmith if you wish. Okay, fine, I can do that. Sure. <laughs> I mean, it's, like I said, that's true. What do you think Anja does to? Get I, rid I mean, of this? I mean, a lot, a lot of times she probably, you know, also she could work out and such. Spark. Spark. No, <laughs> in her case, uh, I mean, there's a number of ways. Like, I mean, going out into into the wilds, but that seems really stupid on this island. Uh, would be good, um, you know. <laughs> You know, doing something to take it to, to to just in a sense exhaust yourself, uh, so she could just sleep um, better. Yeah, you know, things like that. Yeah, you know, working out, uh, believe it or not, doing sparring, things like that, trying to better her uh, her sword skills. I mean, that's that's all that all goes towards it. But I mean, if we can combine it with a, trying to find the blacksmith, that'd be great. I'll do that. So what do I need to do? You just need to ask around. All right. I'll ask around. What, do I need to make a roll or do you want me to just say ask around? Uh, did we give a name for the person you're looking for? I don't recall. Uh, hang on a moment. Uh, I believe we did. Or I believe I did. Um, Finally. I will have to go yeah, to my... I was looking up in the book here, here, and I didn't find it in my notes here, so... You, it's in the email there, mister, that oh, I emails. sent you. Am I supposed to print emails? <laughs> I believe it's under you. Two. That's a little personal, but... Uh, I'll tell probably. you what, go why don't you go on to somebody else, and All right. I'll go back to you. Riley, you Once have I some time. It. What are you doing? Um... Yeah, I for sure want to see if there's a library or a book that sells antiquities or something in town. Hmm. So I am going to ask the um, owners of this inn mm -hmm. if they're downstairs uh, where I may find something like that. What's the name of the inn again? Um... Oh shit! I have to go back oh my in my gosh, notes. I have just um, I lost the name of the inn. What was the name of the inn? Port of Call. Ah, the Port of Wait, Call. Yeah. That's right, the Port of Call Inn. Yes, you ask uh, uh, Guza and Kekin, uh, and they tell you that there's no library other than personal libraries. Um, there is the pawn shop. Then. Some people just collect stuff off the shore and sell it to them. If you're looking for stuff, um, yeah, you can talk to people as far as libraries and books go. Uh, thank you and for the information. Roll a D100 for me. Yeah, D D100. Where are we at? D100. It's either a giant fucking die or two tens. 90. Ah, yeah. Yeah, they don't know exactly who to turn to. Yeah. Parents' pawn shop is probably the closest thing to antiquities. People find stuff in the jungles and on the beach, and they bring it to him to make a little extra money. Cool. Uh, where is this pawn shop at in relation to where the sin is? And they give you directions, and you are able to make your way there. Yeah, what's in this pawn shop? I stroll into this place and uh as long as they're open it is <laughs> they're <great>. open <laughs> okay you break down oh this is the next day 
Oh, this is next morning? This is the next morning. Oh, oh okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So you can go ahead and give me two D12s. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see, an eight and a seven. An eight and a seven. Yeah. Mm, interesting. Not that interesting. Super interesting. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you find, let me see here. <clears throat> uh, Perrin's uh, Pawn Shop. Uh, the proprietor Perrin, uh, wood elf, tall, very wiry, uh, and where you would typically maybe see a smile on an elf's face. It's very pointed, and if you can imagine uh, Frank's look. Can I help you with something? Uh... Yeah, actually, I'm an adventurer, and I'm wondering if you have any items in here that may suit uh, an adventurer or may assist me. Uh, also, while I do that, I, I guess detect detect magic, see if any detect of the wares magic. are magical. Yeah, Sure. You do not, unfortunately, detect anything magical at the shop currently. Eh, um, eh. You look around, you see bits and bobs, um, uh, rations for the days, cloaks, um, pieces of driftwood and scrimshaw. Um, you see a stand full of walking sticks uh, where you see this uh, an ebony walking stick with a silver snake head. And the price on that is... 250 gold it is a finely crafted walking stick doesn't detect as magical as you can tell um there's a host of weapons uh a pistol um flintlock in design earlier common to what you brought uh, on board the ship to you um uh, there's some an adamantine uh war pick hanging on the wall um it's a pawn shop there's clothes there's statues walking sticks weapons gear yeah i ask if uh they happen to have any books or uh things that an academic may like well We've got this bestiary over here. Uh, all the islands, the animals on the islands. We had a couple of people who were interested in studying them. And, uh, well, I promised the, the book to Fungallo for, uh, for 50 gold pieces. But uh, well, I'd be willing to part with it for a little bit more. Um. Well, hold on one second out of game because I don't know how much money I actually have. I don't think you have much more other than the fact that you didn't pay to have that kid flown out of Rizante. Yeah, I have in total 79 <laughs> gold or silver. Okay. Um, cool. I offer 60 gold for it. Will this do? Yep, sixty's good, but I'd have to make an excuse to uh, poor Fungello. Yeah, it's awful hard to think of something good to tell. Yeah, and unfortunately, I, I don't have much more. Um, let's see. Uh, do do do. What else do I want to give him? All right. Well, unfortunately, this is really the last of my money, and I, I offer five more gold. Make a persuasion check. Yeah. Nat 20 plus 7. Oh. 
You seem like a bright individual. Very bright, especially to take this book. I tell you what. Tells you everything about every animal that's on this island. You have a great time with it. Now get out of my shop and wasting time. All right, thank you. I definitely take that book. And I'm going back to the port of call and I'm reading the shit out of this thing. (laughs) (laughs) Taking notes in my little tablet too. Yeah. Just to just in case the book gets damaged or lost on my journey, so I'll still have it in my. He's literally just photocopying it on the tablet. Yeah, I'm photocopying it. <laughs> I'm literally like laying the the page over the tablet, and I can magically like inscribe or trace <laughs> the page. <laughs> There's no need for that, as you Ooh. even start getting the book onto this stone tablet that you have gotten from your this ooze slime starts to exude out and cover the book you see black ink being sucked out of the pages literally the words holy and going into the book And before long, all that's left is the hide cover of the book and all the pages, all the ink, even the binding material, everything but this leather falls to the floor. And this feeling of contentment washes over you. Oh. Feed me, Riley. Feed me. Oh, God. <laughs> he's happy. He's got a pet that gives him happy feelings if he eats books. That's amazing. Um, I checked the tablet to see if I can now access the, the book's contents. You do so, and as you examine the tablet, you notice that there's now this new crease, like a crack almost. And if you just shift it a little bit, it bends in half and flips over and more surface area is revealed as you kind of work this into a puzzle and you get access to the bestiary. Your journal that has disappeared and anything that you may have written in this or any paper documents that have gone missing from your person you realize oh if I just continue messing with this and I can reveal the letters that you took from Fenn's banner family journals Mm -hmm. yep all of that nice. appears to have been contained in this book. Interesting. If you so look I, for the missing memories. Yeah. There's nothing there. Uh, oh. So um, I want to check this experiment here. The letter <laughs> that Kenza gave me was also in my satchel with a tablet. I mean, it doesn't matter because we already got paid on the gold, but is the <laughs> inscription of the letter happened to be on this tablet? Because that'd be really cool if I get a copy of all text that I, I put into my satchel with this tablet. Hmm. You showed them the letter. You put it back when they were happy with it. There's not a letter there. There's a wax seal and nothing else. Oh, and Look at the tablet. That information has gone in there as well. The uh, tablet? Maybe that was the, yeah. Right? Well, how else do you describe? <laughs> Honestly, it looks like a tombstone. Honestly. Yeah, that, that, no, that, that no, like, I know somehow it's, uh... collapses on itself. That collapses well, on itself. Like, infinitely. If you <laughs> recall, um, what was it? At World's End, the map 
Yes. Jack Sparrow had, and you just turned it a few places. Yeah. It would show you a new map. Oh, that thing was it's amazing. very similar to that. Yes. Oh, that's cool. In that that's case, really cool. sometimes it folds in on itself. Oh, man. Librarians are going to hate me. I'm just going to go by and swipe the thing across the <laughs> <Yeah>! entire shelf. <laughs> <laughs> Mine. Now, He's going to have to take that's, time. It's going to be the library. Oh, it might not be right as that. There. But. <laughs> Don't worry, when I'm level 14, it'll be fast. I'm sure it'll be fast <laughs> as I level up. You're going to get invisibility too, right? So you can just sneak in and... Uh, that is a good idea. I mean, right now I have Misty stuff. <laughs> I can pick up invisibility. But there is still four more pedestals in my dream that may have some good goodies over time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Anja, we go back to you. Did you find the information? I did. It's Bradwell the Smith. And basically, I have a little book that has a recipe for a brand new alloy of metal. Yeah. And you ask for Bradwold, and they point you to the Bradwold smithing shop. Okay. And when you get there, uh, you see a short uh, woman with... Um, the fire from the forge and the sun from above dark copper skin uh, hammering away at a, uh, a plow fixing a crack that had appeared in it and she's talking to it in that weird way that some people talk to inanimate objects I'm going to get you this time one more hit and you are going to be Perfect. I'm going to remain quiet and let her do it until she notices me. If I'm going to just stand there quietly and observe, because I don't want to disturb her until she's ready to be disturbed. Yeah, she, uh, a few more swings of the hammer on the anvil, getting this plow straightened out, this crack fix, red hot metal, and king. Ha ha! And she dunks it in this oil there, pulls it out. Oil? That's weird. Isn't it just, it's a, she dunks it in oil, not water? Uh, for forging, you can do both oil and water. Ah. The different uh, material tends to do different things to the metal. Yeah, oil you case. generally go for softer metals. But... Oh, interesting. What's yeah. she making? Can I tell oh, what she's, she's not making? making a plow. She is fixing a crack in a plow. So she's heated up the metal, placed another piece of red hot metal on it there, sprinkles this powder on there, and between hammering the blows, it looks like she's attempting to, to forge these two together to kind of fix that crack over there. Uh, oil, <laughs> steel, uh, not necessarily all soft metals get done on there if you want something to be a little bit harder oil is going to generally be the case on that and so it's pulls it all out all right so Looks as she's it. pulling it out <laughs> well actually as she was leaving it in there to cool i know it's not that one but still she'll leave it there i will speak up then mm -hmm. i'm like hello hello oh uh, hello what can hey. i do for you hi uh my name is Anja jaeger and I have been sent from, oh, where the hell did we start off? Uh, Arukatan. Arukatan. I was going to say, if it gets with an A, uh, Arukatan, uh, I have brought you something to help out here. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it, but I wasn't expecting anything. No, but I think you'll want this. Um, but you were given, I was given your name as a contact here uh in case i i don't know and then so i'll hand her the book of like that is a recipe for a or plants or whatever for a new form of alloy from what i was told she takes it sees the name on the book you're looking for my husband oh he's been dead you... for a while now but you are the smith right obviously Yes. It does, then who does it matter who it goes to? You can put it to use. This is for a new form of metal. 
And how much is this costing me? I was not. I've told... already lost half my life to that bastard. Uh, they did not uh, tell me to charge you anything. They sent it here to help the island and to help the settlement. This is what I was told. If you want to reward me for it, I won't turn it down, but I'm not, uh, I was merely told to bring it to you. The change from look of suspicion to if you want to reward me, <laughs> even it's more just, suspicion. It's fine. I was told to bring it to you. I'm, I mean, I will make my fortune here. If there is a fortune to be made here on my own merits. But if this helps, if this helps the island, helps the people here, then I don't need a reward. You can make me something out of it someday. That would be nice. You're a little cocky. Mm, not really, but uh, okay. I've been beat up but a I few too many times. I said I've been beat up a few too many times to probably be cocky, <laughs> to ever have a right to be cocky. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Why don't you go over to uh... where did I put my the Kava's Respite? The what? Why don't you head over to Kava's Respite? You can get a drink on me. All righty. I will take that drink. Uh, if this is worth anything, actually. We'll see about some sort of armor or something. She tosses the book to her side, goes back to her work. Can I shake her hand? Before she does it? Just nice to meet you. And I'm, I said, I'm Anja. Beatrice. Beatrice. It's nice to meet you. Pleasure. <sighs> All right. So I will leave you to your work and then I will go out and go get myself that drink. I sure you do. You walk into the Kava's respite and again, a lot like the buildings that are here you see lots of big open spaces a large bar um, you see some strange some rougher looking figures in this bar and you would say, you know, Port of Call, Albatross, Kava's Respite. <laughs> and this like is where fun. the sailors are going to, you know. This is a fun place. This I, is the fun yeah, place. Yes, this is the fun place. And uh, as you walk through the door, there is a pause as everyone looks up at you. As you up and down. Give me a charisma <laughs> intimidation check. I'll say your insight. They're checking you out. They're sizing you up. If you want to have an easy time here, you got to look intimidating. That's an 18. So not bad. Good yeah. roll. Good roll on the die. Good job. Yeah. <coughs> One look at you. They're judging, they're sizing you up, and you put back that you're sizing each and one of them up in some way. Just that kind of call answer to rough people. And they look back, go back to their conversations. Um, and behind the bar, just watching this entire reaction, you see... This gentleman, olive skin, curly bronze hair, 
and a pair of horns sticking out of his forehead. Ma, 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 you do know how to make an entrance, don't you? I guess. Uh, come, please have a seat. Uh, uh, Miss Yeager, was it? Um, Anja Yeager, yes. Let me get you a drink. Compliments. And... Of, I was told to have a drink on on uh, Beatrice. Beatrice! <laughs> Beatrice! Beatrice. I say I want to say Beatrice, but that's not it. That's a different character. Sure. Beatrice. Uh, let's give me one last roll for the night. Give me roll? a wisdom check, please. Check, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. That's uh, 16. You didn't give him your name before he gave. Yeah, I know. I noticed. I knew that. I, I noticed that. But I mean. And we yeah. will end oh, the I was game gonna, here tonight. All I was going to point was this. Um, adventures tend to do that, you know, have that sort of effect. People do learn your name before, before you, you learn it. it. Yeah, before yeah. you learn theirs. Especially when you've only been here for less than a day sleeping the entire but, time. No, we haven't. We've been busy. We've been up on the mountain handing the things up. We've we visited the prisoners and talked to the thing. And I mean, think about it. We did sort of a cause of ruckus coming onto this island and we took out a bunch of deep ones and such. I think we've done quite a bit actually since we got to this island. Sure. <coughs> but yes, that is kind of oh that is uh, yeah, that's strange. And I'll just say it probably raises a bit of her hackles. And like I said, we will end there tonight. Uh, guys, that was the Cred Campaign. Uh, you can follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to join in on a game, you can't join in on this one. You can't join in on Calamity. You can join in on Between the Rolls on Tuesday or on the One Shot next Saturday uh, by hitting us up on Twitter or at uh, mhoboinc at gmail.com. If you want to talk to us on Discord, uh, figure out what sort of evil terrible things i have planned for these people they'll find out soon enough uh goodness gracious where am i at if you want to buy some cool merchandise you can click on the link below or if you want to listen to an audio only podcast so you but just warning if you do the audio only podcast you can't see the many facial expressions of bran which are <laughs> as he makes his speeches are just <coughs> amazing just, yeah sure I'm telling you, you, you got to watch the live video. You can't just listen to the audio for all those audio listeners right now. Uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors, uh, Pirate Dog Dice, for when you roll like crap, like Brandon most of the night. Surprisingly, not Riley this time around. <laughs> I rolled. Oh, may had to roll like once. It's all good. That's true. Yeah. Uh, Pirate Dog Dice brand. We'll we'll get you a pair. It doesn't have to be made from dog poop. Uh, uh, but if the smell of the dog poop dice gets a little strong, Adventure Sense from Oddfish Games. It'll cover up the smell, and you'll feel like you're sitting in putrid sewers or potentially an old ancient library, which is strangely the same smell that comes from the old stone tablet that Riley looks from. Uh, finally, Guys, again, ticket sales are on for Murder Hobo Con. Buy it. Sign up for some events. Uh, we've got those cool vendors selling some awesome stuff. We've got comedians. There are commie comedians. Comics. Straight from the uh, USR. No, no, I'm going with commie comedians. It's great. Uh, and uh, we got a band. A lot of fun, interesting stuff. Sign up. Help us murder hobo cancer. It'll be a great time. Uh, August 1st. Get ready for it, guys. Uh, finally, uh, do we want to do final thoughts or are we good waving at the camera saying good night? Usually we wave at the camera and say good night. Wave at the camera and say good night, everybody. Good night. Bye. Oh, that